before we're going to start our lesson for today, may I request everyone to please settle down, finish your personal necessities, sit properly to avoid disturbance in our class. Before we're going to proceed our lesson for today, may I request everyone to please stand Vanessa, can you lead us the opening prayer? Let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Please be seated. Have a blessed and wonderful day to all of you. But before that, I will going to introduce to you myself. I am teacher Julian. I am your mathematics teacher. It's nice to see you, class. Okay. I want to congratulate you also because you always maintain the cleanliness and orderliness of the classroom. Please give yourselves five claps. One, two, three, four, five. So now, I will go to check your attendance. So please go back to your proper seat because I will go to check the attendance according to your seating arrangement. Very good. Everybody is present today. Please give yourselves five claps. One, two, three, four, five. I prepared a short energizer. May I request everyone to please stand, let us sing, and dance together. I enjoyed the energizer also. Please be seated. Please always remember that no matter what happened, please be happy. Okay? Very good. So now class, I will let you set the classroom rules for today. Okay? Any suggestions? Yes, friends! Okay. Be quiet. Okay. Who else? Yes, Ludi Jean. Listen carefully. Another one. Yes. 
please observe very good please give yourselves five claps one two three four five very good now class i have a question are you familiar with the song finger family very good we will going to sing a song finger family but in insect version are you ready very good so now let us sing a song finger family one two three four five finger family beetle finger beetle finger where are you here i am here i am how do you do beetle finger beetle finger what color are you blue i am blue i am that's my color to our discussion let us read first our learning objectives a objectives understand the concept of pictogram b strengthen the value of care and respect to environment c sort and classify the given data using now let us proceed with this picture let's assume this is our school garden by the way do you have a garden at your homes very good so i have a short story about school garden are you ready to listen okay who among you are not ready to listen Okay, who among you are ready to listen? Okay, very good. So here, Lara likes to play in the school garden every afternoon. She wants to count the insects around the garden. Will you help her to count the insects? Okay, how many insects do you see in the picture? So let us all count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight insects. How many dragonfly 
here. There are one dragonfly. How about bees? There are two bees. How about the bug? There are one bug. Grasshopper. One grasshopper. The last one, the beetles. There are two beetles. So how many insects are there in all? There are eight insects. So how did you get the answer? By counting the insects one by one. Very good. Please give yourselves five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. In addition, there are other ways of organizing the insects so that it will be easier to count by by using picture. Arrange the picture from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. For your activity, so here are the activity sheets. I will group you into four groups of five members. You will going to complete the table given the activity. So, before that, what are the three rules we said earlier? Okay? Be quiet, listen carefully, and observe. Very good. So, now you can get your activity sheets now. So, now let us check your activity. So, how many each kind of insects are there? Group 1, how many butterfly? One butterfly. Group 2, how many grasshoppers? Okay, very good. 10 grasshoppers. Group 3, how many bees? There are 3 bees. Group 4, how many dragonflies? There are Six dragonflies. Very good. So, how many insects are there in all? Anyone? Okay, very good. There are 20 insects. So, which kind of insect has the greatest number in Anna's garden? Okay, very good. The grasshoppers. How about the least number? Very good. The butterfly. So, how many butterflies and grasshopper all in all? Okay, very good. There are 10 grasshoppers plus one butterfly. So, now, what is pictogram? Anyone? Okay, friends. Very good. A pictograph is a representation of data using image or symbol. So, what operation did we use to determine the number of insects? Yes? Very good. Addition. You can use addition. Can we use addition in daily lives? In our daily lives? Okay, yes, of course. We can use addition. You already know how to sort and classify different insects from given data. So, what did we use in classifying? Yes. Okay, we use pictograph very good please give yourselves five blocks one two three four five very good who can summarize what we have discussed today okay to conclude our lesson for today is the number of objects can be shown in a organized way by putting their pictures or drawings according to their kind in the table. This way, there are 
easier to count and can be easily be compared because they are grouped according to their kind. So, did you understand our lesson for today? Very good. Do you enjoy our lesson? Okay, very good. So, for the application, do you have a flower garden at your home? Okay, very good. What flowers did you plant in your flower garden? Okay, very good. Different variety of Mayanas. Very good, children. So, how do we take care of the plants and animals in our environment? Anyone? Okay, Teresa. By watering the plants every day and feeding the animals. Wow, very good. And for your evaluation, please get one whole sheet of paper and answer these following questions. Okay? I will give you five minutes to answer this. So, for your assignment, in a short bond paper, make a pictograph with title and information you collected. Ask 10 members of your family of what shapes they like. So, did you understand our assignment? Very good. So, here are our assignments. Now, class, have you learned something about what we have discussed today? Okay, very good. Now, please pick up the pieces of paper. Okay, very good. And put it on a trash can. So, please all stand. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, when you go out, please pick up the pieces of paper and take care always. Okay, very good. Bye class!